Number 12 is next, young Tom DeConney. Now, Tom has had, unfortunately, experienced two seasons which have both been interrupted through injury, whether it be in the preseason or during the season. And that was certainly the case in 2019, where he had a very interrupted preseason with the knee issue. He actually didn't debut in the VFL until round 10. And then after that, he only missed one game. So it probably goes to show you the type of year that he had and maybe a reason why he wasn't able to feature in the AFL side in 2019. But if we have a look at the development of him in the VFL, like I said, 11 games, he averaged 10 and a half possessions, he averaged 12 and a half hit outs. Uh, the, the one thing that is very relevant in this situation is the fact that there were two other Ruckman in this side for the majority of the time that he was there. You've got to remember, Andrew Phillips was playing in the Northern Blues, and so was Matthew Loby. So it's very difficult to have that development when you've got those two big boys in there. That's the big difference between his 2019 and hopefully his 2020, because Already, touch wood, he's already done, from what I can see anyway, every single session in the preseason. Um, he's moving really well. Obviously, Mark Pittenet is there as well. So he's got an experienced body ahead of him to really teach him a lesson and knock him around a little bit. And he does hold his own. There's definitely a strength component of his that's improved, from what I can see. And so I, there is, I can sense that there is a consensus between the Carlton fraternity that he will be playing as our number one Ruckman by the end of the year. I've always felt like by the end of this year, we want him to be pushing for that spot. Is he going to be ready to take that? I'm not sure. But for me, there's no rush with him just yet. I mean, we're talking about Jacob Wiedering and Harry Mackay and, and Charlie Kerno and guys from that draft who are now going to start being ready to um, play consistent footy. And, and Tommy's obviously, you know, he's a ruck when they take a lot longer. He's had two interrupted seasons. For me, I just want to see him get through this preseason. I want to see him get through a really solid, consistent season with the Northern Blues. And maybe towards the back end of the year, we can start thinking about three, four, five games for him. I think that would be the best case scenario for him because I still believe Matthew Cruiser is the number one ruckman in the side. And I think, to an extent, Mark Pittenet would be the next in line. So, for me, there's no rush for Tom. Uh, from the one thing I can certainly attest to is his character and the work ethic that he he shows. He's still very, very athletic. He hasn't quite grasped the physicality side of being a ruckman just yet. Uh, I just notice it when I see him in the ruck battles, when I see him flying for marks. It's sort of arms and legs everywhere to an extent still. But once he puts on a little bit more size, once he gets a little bit more experience, I think we've got a really good player on our hands, a high-quality character. And that's what I've spoken about a lot in the preseason. I want our players, for me personally, to have you know, they have a bit of a, an opportunity to have something to say off the field as well and contribute to society off the field. I think he's going to be someone that really stands for certain social themes off the field. He's part of the Carlton Respects program and he's an advocate for that. And I, I just like the way he goes about it. And so that's how I see Tom DeConning's season unfolding. What about you? Do you see it differently? Should we just throw him in there? And I think people have spoken about the Tim English model where, you know, get games into him as early as you can and let him learn from there. Throw him in the deep end and see what happens. Is that something you want to see from Tom? Let me know in the comments below.